Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the TV series Dynasty. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Dynasty is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of Dynasty. Emma Sams was born in 1960. In the series, she played fallen Carrington Kobe. In 1985, when she was in the series, she was 25, and now she's 63. So I thought I'd get some practice in. No, I'm going to do a skit. Including today? Yeah. Once. What do you want, Sorelli? Did it ever occur to you that maybe I just enjoy your company? It's as you can hear, it's shortness of breath. Um, I have a uh, chest pain um, and the, the amazing fatigue that it, I've never known anything like that before. John Fawcett was born in 1918 in the series to play Blake Carrington. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 63 and sadly passed away on April 1st, 2010 at the age of 92. Pry our tankers loose from his, uh, his excellency. All I've succeeded in doing is getting some lumps on the head from running into stone walls. Suddenly, my ex-wife here, calmer, uh, more receptive area. And of course, Linda, let me make it clear for the record, Linda Evans played. Linda Evans was born in 1942. In the series, she played Crystal Carrington. In 1981, when she was in the series, she was 39, and now she's 81. To, to get some help just as soon as possible. Now, will you call him today? Would you do that for me? Blake, I've been upset. I lost life because it's so painful to be alive. And nobody had an answer. And were there times where you thought about that? I mean, it's uh, absolutely. Jack Coleman was born in 1958 in the series to play Stephen Carrington. In 1982, when he was in the series, he was 24, and now he's 66. Wanted those leases. I do. It's a potentially viable field, but not at that price. Somebody could grab it like that. I know that. Well, you're taking a damn big chance. Do you know? Extraordinary powers or extraordinary abilities. Um, and so it wasn't men in capes and suits who have been fighting crimes their whole lives. It was. Lynn Hunley was born in 1955. In the series, she played Dana Waring Carrington. In 1986, when she was in the series, she was 31, and now she's 69. It's, it's just getting late. Come on, I know better than that. What is it? I'm just getting so tired of everyone in this family badgering me about having children. Sometimes we know what our characters are doing to each other. How we're dressing, what set we're on, because that changes the, the clothes, you know. Pamela Sue Martin was born in 1953. In the series, she played fallen Carrington Colby. In 1981, when she was in the series, she was 28, and now she's 71. That to me when I was little, and I had a nightmare. You'd come in and you'd say, just had a bad, bad dream, everything's gonna be all right. I'd smile at you, and it was. I was, I was just out of high school. Wow. Oh, I was just born. <laughs> <laughs> I like that even better. That's the way to do it. So, so what kind of memories? Because it was a huge cast, something. Diane Carroll was born in 1935. In the series, she played Dominic Devereaux. In 1984, when she was in the series, she was 49, and sadly she passed away on October 4, 2019, at the age of 84. I volunteered to pack all of her things, her clothes, her jewelry, even those silly little silver earrings that she loved so much. It was very difficult to put them away. About a television show starring a black woman, um, who would play a nurse. And so, finally, when... Ha Heather Locklear was born in 1961. In the series, she played Sammy Jo Dean Carrington. In 1981, when she was in the series, she was 20 years old, and now she's 62. Dancing with what the two of you once had together. That's not true. Isn't it? Look, the only thing I've got against Stephen is your fantasy of him. He can't give you what you need. Face it. Really? And suddenly, and suddenly, Chris has to become him, him and her, a mother and a father, 
keeping the brand together. Joan Collins was born in 1933. In the series, she played Alexis Carrington Colby. In 1981, when she was in the series, she was 48, and now she's 90 years old. Oh, but he's my father, and I love him. You love what you think he is. I know that every child wants a father, and I don't care. Yes, indeed. Oh, my glasses, okay, man. Yeah. Dame Joan Gordon Thompson was born in 1945. In the series, he played Adam Carrington. In 1982, when he was in the series, he was 37, and now he's 79. In the basement? Yeah. Do you mind? Calm down. I know you're upset, so am I. This business with Crystal is getting to all of us. I'm sure you're deeply... For me. I'm hearing what you're saying. That was your me too. Just, moment, it, wasn't it, it? I'm not about to prostitute myself. I never have, I never will, because I have to look at my. John James was born in 1956 in the series to play Jeff Kobe. In 1981, when he was in the series, he was 25, and now he's 67. You think it's Tuscan? Yes. Alone or with someone else, I do. I think it's Tuscany. She may be asleep. I convinced her to take a time. And uh, I think the audience enjoyed seeing rich people getting down and dirty and fighting. But I certainly enjoyed every fight. Pamela Bellwood was born in 1951. In the series, she played Claudia Blaisdell. In 1981, when she was in the series, she was 30 years old. And now she's 72. How often are the contractions? I think they're coming every two minutes. Oh, I think this baby's liable to come. Where the devil is the doctor or the ambulance? Don't worry. His back, when I say, oh, darling, look at that, take a picture of that, and he gets pretty fed up at times, so now I just have a camera, or, or two or three, and just shoot my own. Michael Nader was born in 1945. In the series, he played Dex Dexter. In 1983, when he was in the series, he was 38 and sadly passed away on August 23rd, 2021, at 76. I don't like to deal in almost sticks. Well, for what it's worth, I think you gave him a hell of a run for their money, and I'm proud of you. Me as Dex Dexter, when I came up on the screen, they went, Oh, Dex! Oh, no. And it was the exact wrong thing for the uh, storyline at that time, so they had to reshoot it with another actor. When we reflect on the incredible journey of Dynasty that took place between 1981 and 1989, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.